It is another night of mourning in the Austin East community. 17 year old Anthony Thompson Jr. will be laid to rest this week after he died during a struggle with police inside Austin East High School. A week ago Monday, school resource officer Adam Wilson suffered a bullet wound to the leg during that shooting. That officer is now out of the hospital. Now we still don't know what led up to that confrontation and who exactly fired the shots. The fight now to have the body camera video released from that day. Your continued refusal to submit to the will of the people only further erodes the already waning trust this community has for law enforcement and the criminal justice system. Knoxville Mayor India King Cannon, KPD Chief Eve Thomas, and at least three of the four Knoxville police officers involved are also asking for that footage to be released. When you're dealing with kids with trauma, all it takes is one caring adult to show up and invest in a kid's life. As Austin East High School students return to that school in person this week, they won't be alone. A local organization says it stands ready to stand for and behind students, and that group is working to ensure those students suffering the trauma of losing a classmate get the care they need. Young Life leaders made up of college students and graduates will be there to support the students. They will walk them in and out of school. After the shooting that killed that Austin East student back in February, hundreds of volunteers showed up to give their support. Reporter Amelia Young explains why it is so important for them to show up. For 21 years, Young Life leaders have impacted the Austinese community, showing up for after school activities, sporting events, lunch, and hosting weekly meetings. Their mission to make a positive impact. April Jackson with the organization says this past week has been hard. The day that it happened, leaders checked in with their kids and was like, How are you? What are you doing? Um, she says leaders have been there to support students after every tragedy this year and beyond. Like you're showing up when nothing is happening, when no news is around, when no press is around, you're still showing up. And I think that is what um, is the most important. And the thing that kids remember the most is that caring adults continue to show up even after everything else faded away. Knoxville nonprofits and organizations offer numerous after school programs and activities. While they're available, engaging students is difficult, but Jackson says it's all about fostering a relationship. Kids want to come back, not because your program is great, but they want to come back because they feel like they, they're loved, they feel like they belong there, and they feel like they have a relationship with somebody. Young Life leaders will continue to do just that in a time of so many unknowns. One thing we do have an answer to is that we can show up and we can be a present in one high school kid's life. Reporting in Knoxville, Amelia Young. Young Life leaders are spread across Knox County schools. They have had to restructure some programs due to COVID-19. When the almost 650 students at AE return this week, there will be some changes. All students will be searched and checked with metal detector wands daily. All doors will have alarms and school staff will be assigned to outdoor locations. Their clear backpack policy will also remain in effect.